it's uh, it's foggy. I, I thought we would have sunshine today, but it's it's quite foggy, and um, I also thought that uh, I would walk for a couple of hours before uh, having my lunch. But now I am hungry and I've just gotten up the first, no, the second hill. <laughs> uh, what I'll do, I'll walk up to the shelf camp, as I call it, and I'll have my campfire there. And it will be um, not so much of a hike, but more of a relaxing chat, I guess, yeah. Okay, so I'm not going to shelf camp today. I decided I would rather sit here in the, this very ancient part of the forest.
Yeah, so of course I forgot something. I forgot the spoon. So I'm contemplating whether I should make a spoon or just be lazy, sit here and uh, eat this out of the bag with my fingers, which I won't let you see. <laughs> so yeah, I'm having my cup of coffee while I'm contemplating about that. Okay, just wanted to share a few thoughts with you. Um, and a question, where is your place of peace? Where is your place of peace? Is there anywhere you can find peace? Uh, for me, it's out at sea and out there in the woods. I think we need our places of peace to be fulfilled as human beings. Um, if we go back a few well, a few hundred years only. Now, I was going to say a few thousand years, but if we go back a few hundred uh, years, people would live closer to nature. And on my way up here, I walked past a, um, a pit where they used to uh, extract tar. And that was kind of a, sort of a in woodland industry here in Scandinavia. Um, and just imagine that going up here, you know, and you would uh, burn um, burn the wood in, in the tar pit, and uh, that takes time. So, lots of waiting. And imagine they would, maybe they would sit here at this very rock, waiting. Um, and when they were hunting, you know, this is a good place from which to, you know, spot uh, moose, you know, and, and uh, roe deer. Uh, so, so you would have your moments, or long moments, you would have your hours upon hours of peace. And I think that's essential for us people, both men and women. It's essential. We need our, we need peace. And we can't, I, I ha, I'm not a big fan of going into a uh, yoga class. No, I'm not trying to diss yoga. I'm just saying that going into some kind of class and have, you know, peace for an hour. Um, no, I'm going to, yeah, maybe I'll edit out that. But <laughs> no, in fact, that's quite a good idea, actually, to, I mean, I'm, I do powerlifting and I feel some kind of peace while I do that um, but so that's good as well but I need these longer I mean I'm out there for a few hours every time I'm out here and I need that I need to settle down and feel the rhythm and the pulse of the woodland that's just something I need in order to be uh, mentally healthy, I would say. And I would say that goes for most people. So here's my advice to you. Uh, coming from someone who's made a few mistakes in that, in that regard, um, you need to find your places of peace. For most people, it's nature. It's it's going out in the woods, and what you will discover, and many of you you know this already, you will discover that your problems back home they don't seem to be that important. You get to put put things into perspective, and we need that because if you wake up in a city, you go to work, lots of stress, and you go to sleep in that same city. And all you see is concrete and cars and noise, you hear noise and there are, I mean, you don't get to see things in perspective. Yeah, so that's my little chat for today. And uh, please share in the comments section if you have found a place or several places of peace, let us know because, you know, that can possibly help other others as well. Um, 
It doesn't have to be the woodland. It doesn't have to be the sea. It can be, uh, I, I don't know. So if you have your places of peace and uh, would like to share, share that. Uh, let us know. Uh, write, so, write about that in the comments. Yeah, okay, it's not much of a spoon, but when I say spoon, when I said spoon, it's just, I mean, I need something just to scoop up the, the stew, and I'm hungry, so this will do. The weather turned out nice. It's uh, quite sunny now. Hmm. Okay. That's all for now. And I will see you uh, in just a few days. I think actually I will have another video up tomorrow for you. So I'll see you then. Until then, a wonderful day. Take care and bye-bye.